Hi everyone. Rather than going through a normal journal flip, I thought I'd take the time and go through my journal, talk about some of the products used, and maybe some techniques, and it's always um, good to see some things close up, so I hope you enjoy it. This is my one of my current journals. It's a moleskin. It's the regular moleskin. Um, it's light paper lightweight paper. It's not the sketchbook that everyone has. This is just a thin paper. And what I've been doing is gluing two sheets together, which does ca cause some wrinkles, but it kind of goes with my grunge uh, type thing. So, um, I used the regular sketchbook moleskin, moleskin last time and uh, didn't like how the binding was. You can see that this binding is holding up a little bit better um, than my last one did. So, so far so good. I'm keeping my fingers crossed on that one though. So I'll start off with uh, the first page in, in this book. Um, nothing too exciting here. Some just acrylic, plain, acrylic paint, excuse me. A um, couple different colors. Scraped down with a credit card. Little stamp, book stamp, um, with a bunch of writing over it. Next page was definitely out of my comfort zone. I was trying to um, paint more rather than using stamps um, so lots of circles going on here um, some of them are shiny if you can see swirls that I love to do it's it's much very much a meditation type process for me when I do these type of swirls so in the background you can see a Tim Holtz um, stencil with glimmer mist on top next page this was a magazine uh, transfer, image transfer technique with some gel medium. Um, definitely like the grunge look that came out of it. Love these basic gray rub-ons. They're slightly old as in a lot of the scrapbook products I use in my journals. Um, I've loved them so much. I've hoarded them for so long and finally in this platform I find that I can use my scrapbook supplies and and just love them. So, um, you'll see a lot of scrapbook supplies in my in my artwork so this is kind of interesting this was a alcohol ink um, and the alcohol ink somehow bled through the white gel pen that I used to to write on top so that that was kind of cool uh, very bright page uh, a little bit of pink and again some hand-drawn circles I used some glazed gel black gel pen I uh, did a lot of meditative type doodling around the edges, but this is as close as the doodling as I got, and um, not too bad. It didn't turn out too bad. Next page, I was again playing with alcohol ink, um, this time without any gesso on the paper, so around the pages beforehand. So, what happened is the gesso kind of, um, without the gesso, the alcohol ink just bleeds into the paper. So kind of a different technique for sure had some random cut out magazine images and this hand drawn is supposed to be a glass um, not quite sure what I was going for there but uh, kind of worked out okay because it held my journaling So this page um, it's a technique I use where I put gesso down and squeeze the pages together end up getting this kind of cool technique sorry for the shadow um, once you open the pages up and just put some golden glazes on top again uh, acrylic paint scraped over um, I believe it was watercolor paint on this one this page uh, everybody loves it uh, for me very outside my style outside my comfort zone a lot of people ask me if I drew this bird definitely not this is a K and Company die cut image that I bought at Michael's um, again, that Tim Holtz uh, screen stencil, it was actually from that the pages couple back where I used it in the background and then I put it in between my journal pages and got this, um, not the negative effect, but I guess it's the positive effect uh, of that, so that was fun. Very uh, busy page, lots going on here. More of my, my typical style for sure. Um, some really old ephemera. Um, so fun using stuff that's at least five years old that I've had in my stash. So 
Um, lots of bright colors, multiple layers of paints in the background, just acrylic on, on acrylic, and then um, if you can see kind of like this square here, that's Tim Holtz um, Distress Ink, just kind of direct-to-paper technique. The next page, uh, again, very busy. It was one of the pages I did while I was traveling. I was very limited supplies, so you can see uh, in the background some really old scrapbook paper. I'm, I'm like we're talking eight years old, but again, so fun to use. I used a rubber stamp with gesso on top to make these uh, different borders. Another page done in hotel room with limited supplies. Used some homemade uh, glimmer spray. Threw a, a really cheap plastic stencil in the background here. Um, couple scraps of paper, use my paint dabber to make these, uh, random stamping. This page was kind of fun. I started it while I was uh, in the Toronto airport waiting for a plane to go out my Koi watercolor travel set and just kind of went to town. I've never um, have an experience doing any type of art in public so it was really interesting to just you know put on my iPod and, and paint and you know had a couple of people come up and strike up, strike up a conversation with me, so it was really, really interesting. Um, I'm definitely a private type person, so very much an experience. This was a page I did in the hotel. Um, I really, sorry, uh, my lighting is, is pretty bad. This is a, one of my first videos, my first video talking, so please bear with me uh, while I get everything set up. But this is a crackle finish dimensional paint that I've had for a while. Again, just through that same alphabet stencil I had a few pages ago. Um, I love putting texture type pieces in my journals that I can go back and rub my fingers over, my hands over, and love, love putting texture. Um, this page I started while I was on the road, same type of colors. I uh, finished it while I was at home. Um, put a little journal, uh, sorry, pocket that had my journaling in here. As most people know, I'm a very real journaler. I post uh, pretty much everything I do online and don't censor, but there are still some things that are a little too private to put out into the world, so I kind of like that, that pocket. Um, always love a good pocket or flap or, or an interactive page of some type, but really love the colors on this and how it turned out, some old scrapbook paper there. Uh, Kind of a fun page, random stamps, again something I did on the road with limited limited supplies, a paint dabber, um, Adirondack paint dabber I used in the background, and a Tim Holtz stamp that I bought at uh, Archivers when I was traveling. Again another page started on the road with the same, same color, same supplies, you'll see the negative of maybe the positive, I'm getting myself confused here, but same alphabet stamp that I sprayed a couple pages um, back and then I again stuck it in my journal and, and got the the negative, positive, the other effect on that page, I'll get it right this one time. But um, Tim Holtz stamps from the same stamp set as that, that fire page, really, really love Tim Holtz stamps. Um, really old uh, image, I want to say that it was was from a Stampington a Somerset Studio collage sheet that's in every magazine. Very bright page. Um, oh, I missed a page back here. Another page from the road. I did this journaling um, while I was in the Chicago airport and uh, got a, kind of a few looks while I was journaling the page. Everything else was done, but um, Got some few looks, but it's it's always interesting to people watch, for me anyways, in the airport. This is um, Prima Paper. I love the texture of it, so it was perfect here. It's not a pocket. I wish I made it a pocket, but I just love to love to feel it. But I'm just same color, same paint dabber, same acrylic paints that I was using uh, while I was away. But Anyways, I hope you like my first video. Um, lots more pages to go. A few journals I have um, waiting on hand for the same thing. So uh, please come back. Please give me some comments, some feedback. I know the lighting. I know there's a shadow. You may have heard my cat meowing in the background. Um, I'm trying to, again, I'm learning, and I want to help you guys learn. So feedback is much appreciated. Thank